lymphoid tissue. Lymphoid tissue of the body is prominent at birth, grows rapidly during childhood. The growth ceases at about the time of puberty and followed by partial atrophy in the later years. This growth pattern is shared by the lymph nodes, thymus, tonsils, lymphoid tissues of the intestine and the follicles of the spleen. <clears throat> However, lymph nodes may enlarge again in response to inflammation that is the lymphadenitis or a tumor formation like in Hodgkin's disease, lymphosarcoma etc. Whereas lymph nodes can be commonly enlarged by metastasis or the spread of the cancer growths or the carcinomas. The functions of lymphoid system, the lymph capillaries, are helping in absorbing and removing the large protein molecules and other particulate matter from the tissue spaces. Thus, the lymphatic system clears the cellular debris and foreign particles, the dust particles inhaled into the lungs, bacteria and other microorganisms are conveyed in the regional lymph nodes. The lymphatic side of the lacteals help in transportation of fat from the gut. Now, lymph nodes act as filters for lymph which percolate slowly through the intricate network of the spaces. Thus, the foreign particles are prevented from entering into the bloodstream. The foreign particles are engulfed by the macrophages in the sinuses. The antigens are also trapped by the phagocytes. The mature B lymphocytes, that is the plasma cell capable of producing antibodies, and the mature T lymphocytes are produced in the node. Both the cellular and the humoral immune responses are mounted against the antigen-laden phagocytes. The circulating lymphocytes can pass back into the lymphatic channel within the node and the humoral antibodies are freely produced by the lymph nodes. Production and proliferation, further maturation of the B and the T lymphocytes is the main function of the lymphoid tissue. Lymphatics are primarily meant for coarse drainage including cell debris microorganisms from the tissue spaces to the regional lymph nodes where the foreign and the noxious material is filtered off by the phagocytic activity of the macrophage cells for the final disposal by the appropriate immune responses within the node. Thus, the lymphatic system forms the first line defense of the body. Now, while draining from an infected area, the lymphatics and the lymph node carrying the infected debris may become inflamed, resulting in lymphangitis and lymphadenitis. Lymphangitis is the inflammation of the lymph vessel whereas lymphadenitis is inflammation of the lymph node. In acute cases, the lymphatics are marked on the skin as painful red lines leading to the painful and tender swollen lymph nodes which may superate or cause pus formation. Chronic infection that is tuberculosis, syphilis cause chronic lymphadenitis. Now, the lymphatics provide the most convenient route of spread of the cancer cells. Therefore, the lymphatic drainage of these organs, which are commonly involved in cancer, should be studied with greater detail and special interest. Now, it is helpful in diagnosis of the primary site of cancer, that is the sentinel node biopsy, helps in predicting the prognosis and classifying the stage of the cancer, and helps surgeon in doing the block dissection during operative removal of the cancer. The spread of the cancer causes enlargement of the regional lymph nodes which become fixed and stony hard. Many a times the primary site of cancer is quite insignificant or even difficult to define and the enormous enlargement of the draining lymph nodes due to secondary malignant deposits form the most prominent part of the disease. A retrograde spread of cancer cells after the blockade of the lymphatics may occur by a reversal flow of lymph. Splenomegaly is the enlargement of the spleen mainly due to infections, circulatory disorders, blood diseases and malignant neoplasm. Causes excessive and premature hemolysis of red cells or phagocytosis of normal white cells and platelets leading to anemia, leukopenia and thrombocytopenia. Spleen also may enlarge due to congestion of blood in portal venous congestion 
in right sided heart failure and in fibrosis caused due to cirrhosis of liver splenomegaly also occurs to meet the extra workload for removing the damage and the abnormal blood cells commonest cause of splenomegaly is malaria enlargement of thymus may cause myasthenia gravis which produces extreme weakness of skeletal muscle may be treated by removal of enlarged thymus or by drug treatment so that's all about the lymphatic system thank you